Hello, dear students. Welcome to our grammar lesson. Today we are going to speak with you about subject verb agreement. I hope that you are well today and you are ready for work. So let's start. First of all, let's define what subject verb agreement is. Subject verb agreement means your subject and verb must match or agree in number. The basic rule says if you have a singular subject, then you must use a singular verb. If you have a plural subject, then you must use a plural verb. But there are some cases that need your attention. The first one. Two singular subjects connected by OR, either OR or neither NOR, require a singular verb. Look at the examples. My aunt or my uncle is arriving by train today. There are two subjects in this sentence. My aunt and my uncle. They are singular subjects. And they are connected by OR. So, these subjects require a singular verb. Is arriving. The next rule says, the verb in OR, either OR or neither NOR sentence agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it. Ближайшим к нему. For example, neither she, my friends, or I am going to the festival. She, my friends, nor I. The closest subject is I. And we agree the verb with this subject. As a general rule, use a plural verb with two or more subjects when they are connected by AND. For example, and car and a bike are my means of transportation. A car and a bike. Two subjects are connected with AND. But there are some exceptions from this rule. Note these exceptions, for example, please. The bed and breakfast was charming. Bed and breakfast here is used as compound noun and is connected with subject in uh, subject is connected with a verb in singular. Sometimes the subject is separated from the verb by such words as alone with as well as besides, not. These words and phrases are not part of the subject. Ignore them and use a singular verb when the subject is singular. For example, the politician alone with the newsman is expected shortly. Alone with the newsman is not a part of the subject. That is why we just ignore it and we connect the subject politician with the verb in singular. Parentheses are not part of the subject. In sentences beginning with here or there, the true subject follows the verb. Here are the keys. The subject. The keys is after the verb are. It follows the verb. Use a singular verb with distances, periods of time, sums of money, etc. when considered as a unit. Look at these examples. Ten dollars is a high price to pay. Ten dollars in these sentences is regarded or as con is considered as a unit.
with words that indicate portions, a lot, a majority, some, we are guided by the noun after of. If the noun after of is singular, use a singular verb. If it is plural, use a plural verb. Look at this example. Let's compare. Some of the pie is missing. The word pie is singular and we use a singular verb. Some of the pies are missing. The word pies is plural and we use a plural verb. With collective nouns such as group, family, audience, population, the verb might be singular or plural, dependent on the writer's intent. If a group of people is regarded as a unit, the singular form of the verb is used. If the members of a group are regarded separately, the plural form of the verb is used. Look at these examples. Her family is large, her family is rich. Her family is regarded as a unit. Her family are discussing this problem now. Her family here is regarded separately. Her family means все члены семьи в отдельности, каждый в отдельности. Compare these two examples. Some nouns while plural in form are actually singular in, me in meaning. You should, draw, uh, you should pay attention to such words. For example, the word economics, gymnastics, mathematics, statistics, athletics, and so on and so forth. Look at the examples and remember these words. A number of last noun is a plural subject and it takes a plural verb. The number of plus noun is a singular subject and it takes a singular verb. Pay attention to this case because such sentences are often used in, some, in, in many grammar tests. For example, A number of people prefer cricket to football. A number of people, it's a plural subject and it takes a plural verb, prefer. The number of days in this month is 28. The number of days is a singular subject and it takes a singular verb. Dear students, thank you for your attention. I hope that our grammar material will, will be very useful for you and you don't make mistakes in your grammar texts. Good luck!